Black Superman and the Myth of White Supremacy. Jesse Owens versus Adolf Hitler, the 1936 Berlin Olympics. Through the years, people have asked me how I felt that Chancellor Hitler did not shake my hand. All I can say these many years later is, I came here to run and run I did. And what he came for was his business. As I look at the box where he sat, and walk through the field that he looked upon, all I can say these many years later is, I'm here, he's not, and that is enough answer for me. Was Jesse Owens snubbed by Adolf Hitler at the Berlin Olympics of 1936? Hmm. By early 1933, Adolf Hitler had effectively become the dictator of Germany, but they called him Chancellor. All non-Nazi parties, organizations, and labor unions had ceased to exist. The reciprocal ideologies of pan-Germanic expansionism and anti-Semitism had taken root. Members of non-Aryan, which are non-white and Jewish races, were perceived and portrayed as inferior and degenerate. Nazi sports imagery served to promote the myth of Aryan racial superiority. Mm -hmm. So-called Aryan facial features, such as blonde hair, blue eyes, were accentuated in posters and journal illustrations. In April 1933, the Nazi sports office ordered all public athletic organizations to implement an Aryans-only policy. The policy sparked global outrage. Just two years earlier, the International Olympic Committee, IOC, had awarded the 1936 Summer Olympics to Berlin. And now Olympic organizers in the United States and Europe were considering pulling out of the Berlin Olympics altogether. In 1934, Avery Brundage, the president of the United States Olympic Committee responded to reports of German persecution of Jewish athletes by inspecting German sporting facilities. Brundage determined that Jewish athletes were being treated fairly and subsequently came out in favor of sending American athletes to Berlin. Hmm. The Berlin Olympics officially opened on August 1st, 1936. 18 African American athletes competed. Jesse Owens was the most successful athlete of any race. Between August 3rd and August 9th, 22-year-old Owens won gold medals, four altogether, in the long jump, the 100 and 200-meter dashes, and the 4 by 100 meter relay. He became the first American track and field athlete to win four gold medals at a single Olympic Games. After the Olympics ended, stories claiming that Owens had been snubbed by Hitler circulated widely. As the most common variant of story goes, after Owens won his first medal, Hitler, not wanting to acknowledge a non-Aryan athlete's ability, left the stadium. Although Owens himself initially insisted that it was not true, he later claimed it was. The report appeared in newspapers around the world. Now, I would suggest that that was American propaganda. Fake news. What say you? Is it true that Hitler did not shake hands with Owens? The answer is absolutely yes, it is true. In fact, he did not congratulate any gold medalist after the first day of competition on August 2nd, 1936. Why? On the first day, Hitler met and shook hands with all the German gold medalists. He also shook hands with a few Finnish athletes. That night, Hitler left the stadium before African-American high jumper Cornelius Johnson won his first gold medal. Hitler's staff maintained that he had a pre-scheduled appointment. Hitler was reprimanded, and the head of the IOC, Henri de Baye Latour, told him that he could either congratulate all the gold medalists or none of the gold medalists. Hitler chose to honor no one. So, technically, Owens wasn't personally snubbed by Hitler. However, Owens did feel that he had been snubbed by someone else. U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt. Mm-hmm, really? 
A month after the Olympic Games, Owens told a crowd, Hitler didn't snub me. It was Roosevelt who snubbed me. The president didn't even send me a telegram. Roosevelt never publicly acknowledged Owens' triumphs or the triumphs of any of the 18 African Americans who competed at the Berlin Olympics. Only white Olympians were invited to the White House in 1936. Wow. A number of explanations have been offered for the president's actions. Most likely, Roosevelt did not want to risk losing the support of Southern Democrats, a.k.a. Dixiecrats, by appearing overly soft on the race issue. The black Olympians who competed in Berlin were not recognized by the White House until 2016. Damn! When President Barack Obama invited the athletes' relatives to an event in celebration of their lives and accomplishments. And since we're on the subject of Hitler and Nazis and athletics, here's a fun fact for you, for all you Kanye West fans. Jesse Owens' German track shoes. Jesse Owens was wearing German track shoes when he won his gold medals in Berlin, as were all the members of the German team and most of the track and field athletes. His shoes were made by the company co-founded by Adolf Adi Dassler. Today, that firm is called Adidas. So after all was said and done, why did Jesse Owens travel around America? Places like Idaho, for example. To race against a horse. Now, according to the Boise, Idaho State Public Radio News, Jesse Owens came to Twin Falls, Idaho for a race in 1938 against a horse. Yes, the Jesse Owens you learned about in history class who humiliated Hitler by dominating the 1936 Berlin Olympics. According to the Twin Falls, Idaho Times News hidden story, hidden history column, Owens was at the Southern Idaho Fair, now the Twin Falls County Fair, for a simple reason, money. See, life was not easy for a black man in America in the 1930s, about 100 years ago. Even one considered a national hero like Jesse Owens. Despite his fame and unmatched athletic prowess, considered the OG black Superman, Owen struggled to make a living. Wow. So he used that fame as best as he could to acquire what little fortune he received. He traveled the country and made paid appearances at events like baseball games and county and state fairs. Racing horses was part of that. I don't mean getting on a horse and racing it. I mean, on your mark, get set, go. He's racing against a horse. In a 1971 interview with Jesse Owens, he said, quote, People said it was degrading for an Olympic champion to run against a horse. But what was I supposed to do? I have four gold medals, but you can't eat four gold medals. And there you have it. The truth versus the fiction. The facts versus the myth. Jesse Owens was in fact not snubbed by Adolf Hitler and the Germans, but was later well received when he returned to Berlin. Ah, hold on. I'll be white black. Now the run was finished. I looked into the stands and everyone was on their feet. Finally, the mayor of West Berlin greeted me. Then he said, Jesse Owens, 13 years ago, Hitler would not greet you or shake your hand. I will try to make it for today by taking both of them. He grabbed both hands with much warmth and embraced me. The crowd came forth with a tremendous roar. And the cheers are with me today. 